Now, why do you think there are fewer women objectivists than men? Well, I mean, that has no way restricted to objectivism. There are fewer women in every intellectual movement except feminism. <laughs> and there are fewer women in every field in history, from back to Egypt on. So uh, the question is why? And I think a good part of it is the way women were regarded and regarded themselves. In a, in a pre-industrial society, raising children, being able to survive, physically getting the food and so on, was, you know, you didn't just call uh, on the internet and they delivered everything. Uh, it, it was a literally a, an exhausting, backbreaking, full-time job. And similarly, for the, the, the man, the father, who had to uh, go out and try to scrape something out of the ground. So it was, uh, it was a division of labor that was just handed on and on. And it was only in the last, uh, I would say, century or so. There always were some exceptions uh, in, in every field, but it was only in the last century that I know that uh, wealth uh, reached the point that women were totally liberated and had the freedom and the wealth and so on, and that division of labor was no longer a requirement of survival. And I've seen a number of couples now where the husband stays home and looks after the kids and the wife goes out to work. When I was growing up, that would have been considered inconceivable. But it's, it's normal. So I think the situation has changed, and I think that there's a lot more self-assertiveness uh, among uh, women. I do not think that the implication is men are intellectual and women are emotional, because there certainly are, if you judge by the history of philosophy, a hell of a lot of emotionalist uh, men. But uh, I guess that so far it hasn't, uh, you know, you have millennia to overcome. So, and I don't think the feminist movement is helping because it's pushing to the forefront all the people that would not go for a, a rational uh, movement. But I think in, in time, if uh, freedom continues, I mean, Ayn Rand is an example. She was uh, pretty good. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she was a woman, so, uh, and she was certainly in objectivism. So. <laughs> well, she wouldn't call it that, but... Yeah, quality over quantity, but I think you can have both. Um. <laughs>